there's mobs. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take your face, draw dots all over it, and use those dots to animate any creature that you like, and run a vellum simulation on top of that. And also using the deformation on that face geometry to measure how much wrinkle map needs to be applied. I've modeled that lion in Blender, so I have one clean line and one very wrinkly line, and that is being driven in new with blend shapes. If you don't have a headgear, just improvise. Selfie stick is really good because it's got that grip on it. Glue it to maybe our headset. So now turn your camera to torch and then turn it on wide angle lens. And definitely use the lens on the back of the camera. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn on the torch. I don't know if that's gonna blow up the image or what. And that, yeah. Splatter! Okay, I like that. Now what we need is the tracking markers next. First time I tried this, I thought black markers, Luma Key, gonna be really quick and easy. I was wrong because it went in and out of highlight. I had to fix by rotoing and tracking stuff. So I thought making little green paper dots with a hole puncher was gonna be a bulletproof idea. Little did I know. PVA glue, glue stick. Try the glue stick. Nope. Oh. Hey, that didn't work actually. I don't know if this is <laughs> a good idea. I think it's actually a very bad idea. So I don't think I'm gonna stick it everywhere. Actually in retrospect, I think I do have okay this could hmm. I think it's dried out. Ah, oh, try PVA glue. This isn't an idea. What I'm learning from this is that some kind of neon paint would be good. Some bright green makeup instead of his Sparta. Mm. Definitely shave before you do this. If you're gonna glue, obviously. Which I don't recommend. I thought this was gonna be so easy. But it is a pain. It sort of just sticks either to your finger. Mm. Oh my gosh. <sighs> so frustrating. Okay. I would usually put more than this, but I think this will have to do. Turn on the light, put on this. Make sure you don't get any of the green screen markers. Here we go. This is spot. Very good acting. Yeah, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I tried the dots and they didn't work because if you flip your lip like that, they would kind of hide on the underside here. So like I said, go on the online. I got two solutions for this. I got this one, which is a very green color. And then I got this, which is like a pen, which I'm gonna try first. Actually, I'm gonna try both, see which works. Like I said, shave before you do this, else this is gonna be a problem. Okay, shaved. We're gonna test which one of these makes the best tracking marker. Okay, let's start out with this one. Put the one here. No. Not impressed. Last but not least. I mean, this looks very promising. It's like neon green. So I got high hopes for this. Let's rub it until it gets loads of pain. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the one. That one's neon green. You know what, it could be cool if I did both. So it has, yeah, that could make a better tracking marker. Okay, let's do that. So I'm squeezing to see what pinches and what doesn't. So here, above the eyebrow, here, here. Let's go wild. I'm actually using the nose as a stabilizer. So let's always try to do it symmetrically. Ah, uh, I got an idea. Now for the um, green. You can even do little crosses. Dip it in water to get extra pigment release from the palette. I hopes for this. So the reason why I paint this past the chin is because it will track the bottom of the chin. <sighs> no. That worked really well. I'm really impressed with that. This pen by Moon Creation is darker. It's better for if you want to do kind of makeup. This one by Poetry Shadow. Wow. Wow. That is bright green. Beyond expectation. That's what you want to keep. Beautiful key green. Bringing out this. Okay. Yeah. And when it comes to making a helmet like this and the amount of bars you want to have holding the camera. Obviously you want to have two or three or four of these and maybe even something lighter. Oh, someone's calling me. 
Hello? It's a bit tricky to get it right, but I want to do it this way. Kind of prove that you can do stuff with nothing. Okay. This is traumatic. They're going to be seen. So these, that's a good one because it cuts you below the chin. So if you do that, even if you move your skin, it will always find the bottom if you have the key there. And these, I made them lines because even if you, eh, I should have done them longer now looking at it. Yeah, I should have done it longer. Always live and learn. And I forgot to do the lips red. I started with this facial setup and it wasn't very good. So switched to this one, much better. Uh, I go into the course, I dive a bit deeper into why this one was much better. Then we take it from Nuke into Houdini with the RGBA. Then we basically start finding out, okay, how do we take get a consistent ID? And we set up a, a setup that basically gives us a consistent ID that we can then start using the data in Houdini. And the next thing then is we start taking, for example, the motion capture data and attributes and converting it to a useful way in applying it to the face and then start applying it to the eye next and creating a blend shape for the eye. After having done that, I also thought, okay, it'd be cool to have like a cornea protrusion setup, which is when you, you your eye is shut and it moves and you see the protrusion here still going. I thought that'd be really cool. So we create a setup like that. From then we start setting up the jaw and um, can take the motion capture data and set up the jaw. But also we have to figure out a way to take separate the jaw movement from the facial movement because else you get double transforms because it's obviously a lion's face and we're taking human data onto a lion's face so that gives us some challenges that we dive into how to sort how to how to tackle those then we take the human face and show you how to apply that to a different face shape like in this case a lion which is completely different teach you how to set that up also dive into taking corrective blend shapes which is quite a useful thing you know in this case in certain areas we needed that then we dive into the fun part which is vellum of course and how to simulate the fleshy floppy bits of the face and get that really fun lovely looking free animation on top of the motion capture and we show you the best way of kind of keeping the motion capture still and at the same time driving the best parts so we keep for example we keep some of the solidness here and then how do you keep fleshy bits and kind of a trick to kind of like for example if you if you select here and then here and then you keep a fleshy bit in the middle that kind of that kind of keeps it so that it squeezes at the same time as it controls it so that gives you both the best of both worlds mocap and the fleshy bit then in this tutorial i go into a trick where we're using the stretch squash and stretch attributes and teach you how to get that and use that as a blend shape for the squash and stretch and that's a really really helpful setup in this case and it really i feel it really sells and gives a lot of extra like kind of life to the face of the character just by doing that instead of trying relying only on the sim and the mocap i'm really happy with this course it's if you're interested it turned out to be a great course i, I really am quite proud of i think it's a course that will be really Really interesting if you're mid to advanced level and you're interested in characters or animation motion capture or anything like that even a junior that want to jump but on the deep end this is the course for you it's got a lot of different techniques that are applicable to 
all kinds of things in Houdini, things that can be used in so many different ways. If this sounds like something that you would like, follow the channel, like and subscribe, and it's going to be exciting to release this course. Thank you so much for watching. Follow Magic Pixel Academy on Instagram, on TikTok. Stay tuned and sprinkle those magic pixels. Phew.